Okay, so hello again. We're again to another uh, recorded lecture. This time about uh, cancer of the blood, also known as uh, leukemia. Hopefully, uh, hindi pa kayo overwhelmed sa mga topics that uh, lectured to you. Uh, next week will be already your uh, final exam. Okay, so now let's go to leukemia. For uh, the definition of leukemia, it is the malignant disease of the blood forming organs. It is the bone marrow. The, the common feature of the leukemia is uh, unregulated uh, proliferation of white blood cells in the bone marrow. But then it's not only the proliferation of white blood cells, but also uh, proliferation of uh, other uh, bone marrow cells. Okay, so it is a group of malignant disorder affecting the blood the blood forming tissue of the bone marrow, the uh, lymph system, and the spleen. From the Greek word leukos uh, and uh, aima, meaning leukos for white blood and aima for blood. Uh, let's go first for the physiology of your uh, hematopoiesis. Uh, remember that the stem, the stem cells are committed to produce specific types of blood. Okay, so there are two um, stem cells, the lymphoid and the myelin stem cells. The lymphoid stem cells produces either the T lymphocytes or the D or the B lymphocytes, while the myeloid stem cells will uh, differentiate into three uh, uh, broad cell types, uh, the RBC, the red blood cells, and the WBC or the white blood cells, and the platelets. Okay, so ito yon, ito yung um, ating stem cells. Uh, your uh, lymphoid, okay, the, uh, the lymphoid will uh, become the lymphad for a while. Okay, your uh, lymphoid system will become either uh, B lymphocytes or the T lymphocytes. And your uh, myeloid naman, to your myeloid. Okay, will become your uh, your platelet, your um, red blood cells, basophils, mesophils, eosinophils, and neutrophils. Okay, and also monocytes. Okay, ito yung um, uh, um, yung pinanggalingan is your myeloid uh, stem cells. Okay, so for the function of the bone marrow, uh do you know that the bone marrow is uh, found inside the bone, right? But then um, there are two types of bone marrow, the red bone marrow and the yellow bone marrow. Uh, the, man, the bone marrow or the marrow is uh, seen in the large bone of uh, adults. Uh, um, approximately 4% of total body weight consists of your bone marrow. Uh, the red bone marrow uh, mainly made up your uh, myeloid tissue, while the yellow bo bo uh, bone marrow uh, made up mostly of fat. Okay, so the red bone marrow is responsible okay, for baking blood cells. But then, uh, if uh, there is a uh, shortage of, uh, of blood, the yellow uh, bone marrow will also become a red marrow to produce more blood cells. Okay. So, uh, red bone marrow can be um, found in your blood bones, uh, like yeah, the breastbone or the sternum, sa skull, sa vertebrae, uh, sa shoulder, uh, shoulder blades or the scapula, the hip bones or the pelvic bone, and the ribs. Uh, red bone marrow can also be found at the end of your long bone, okay, such as the numerous and your femur. Okay. Uh, white blood cells and the lymphocytes, the red blood cells, the plate cells are produced in the red bone marrow. And uh, uh, as you know, the red blood cells are the one responsible for um, carrying oxygen, while your uh, white blood cells are uh, responsible for fighting diseases or infection. For the platelet naman, siya ay um, responsible for uh, blood clotting. Yung uh, yellow uh, marrow 
uh, ay uh, makikita inside the middle section of the long bone. Okay, ito yung um, uh, kinakain nyo uh, na uh, sa bulalo. Okay, that's the yellow marrow. It's not uh, the red bone marrow that's responsible for hematopoiesis. Okay, so sabi nga, the wild blood cells help to fight infection, the RBC for oxygen, and platelet for blood cut. Yun. Okay. Then, uh, uh, so therefore, uh, leukemia is a uh, neoplastic proliferation of one particular cell type, either the granulocytes, the monocytes, the lymphocytes, or infrequently the retrocytes or the red blood cells and the megakaryocytes or the platelet. Uh, the defect uh, originates in the hematopoietic stem cells, okay, the myeloid and the lymphoid stem cells. Okay, as uh, mentioned before. So, ito yung, ito yung um, uh, uh, pattern of hematopoiesis. The stem cells, okay, the stem cells, ay either siya ay magiging uh, uh, myeloid, okay, magiging myeloid siya, or magiging uh, lymphoid stem cell siya. Ang mga myeloid ay uh, ito yung um, uh, nagiging uh, myeloid leukemia if there is a problem on the uh, uh, maturation and proliferation of your uh, uh, myeloid stem cells. Okay, if there is a uh, nagkaroon ng stop of uh, maturation in the process of maturations in uh, of the cells uh, that belongs to the uh, myeloid. Okay, ganoon din. Dito naman, pag nandito, eh, dito naman ay your lymphoid uh, leukemia. Okay? So, dito, yung mga cells ang involved for your myeloid leukemia and dito naman sa lymphoid leukemia. Okay? So, ito yun. Uh, we will discuss them one by one later. Okay? So, there are, uh, there are uh, uh, classifications of leukemia. Uh, first, uh, classifications of leukemia according to how quickly the disease develop. Okay? Either it is a um, acute leukemia or a, a chronic leukemia. Pag uh, chronic leukemia, the leukemia develops from early cells okay, called the blast. Meaning, um, yung uh, uh, so maturation of of the of the cells, ay sa first uh, stage of maturation, either nagkaroon ng halt or stop of of step of of maturation. So nandun na lang yung um, uh, matur maturational stage of the cell, and then mag uh, proliferate pa siya. Okay, ang look ang chronic naman. And ang chronic leukemia is um, leukemia cells come from mature abnormal cells. The cells thrive uh, uh, for, too, uh, for too long and uh, uh, they accumulate. Okay? The cells grow slowly. Uh, so ito naman ay uh, mga cells na nagmature, nag medyo nagmature din sila, almost mature, but then hindi na nila na reach yung full maturity. Okay, and to, to, to be mature is it take a long time before them to mature and then after after that stage ay uh, uh, nag-stop na silang uh, mag-mature and they also uh, tend not to die, hindi sila na matay. So tuloy-tuloy na, na dumadaan na sila at nag-proliferate. Okay, yan ang chronic uh, leukemia. Also, a uh, leukemia can be uh, classified according to the type of blood cell that is affected. Okay, ito yung na-discuss ko nina. Uh, either um, they are lipocytic leukemia or myelogenous leukemia. Ang lipocytic leukemia, if the cancer transformation occur in the type of marrow that makes the lymphocytes, okay, dun sa may myelod, sa may uh, uh, lymph, uh, uh, sa lymphatic system, sa, sa, sa lymphoid system, okay, Ang myelogenous leukemia naman, if the cancerous changes occur in the type of bar of marrow cells that produce red blood cells, other types of white cells, and platelet. Okay? Kung doon yung mga cells na nasa myelogenous, ang, ang nagkaroon ng problem, nagkaroon ng uh, 
ng uh, stoppage of growth or not stoppage of of uh, maturation and proliferation okay uh, you call that a myelogenous leukemia so therefore uh, a uh, leukemia can be uh, called a uh, acute lymphocytic leukemia or uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia or uh, acute myelogenous leukemia or chronic myelogenous leukemia okay ito yung this balik ko lang okay so ito ito ko kanina a uh, ito ang um, mga cells dito kung, kung dito ang affected you call that uh, my, um, a myelogenous leukemia pag, uh, pag dito naman mga cells naman dito okay ang, ang uh, affected uh, you call that lymphogenous leukemia okay sa, sa acute uh, acute um, uh, leukemia ang nangyayari ay uh, dito sa blast stage nila okay blast stage okay nagkakaroon ng stoppage of maturity okay so uh, hanggang diyan na lang kanilang maturity and then nagproliferate pa sila okay so uh, very uh, young yung mga cells uh, na na napo-produce ng inyong uh, bone marrow while uh, sa chronic naman sa chronic stage na uh, sa chronic uh, leukemia naman is there will be some kind of mature type okay, magsa, magmamature pa siya from, uh, from the blast it will become the class okay, so magmamature pa siya uh, but then still it doesn't um, reach the full maturity okay, so nag-halt na rin ang kanilang uh, maturation at that stage okay, at that level so you call them chronic uh, uh, chronic leukemia okay so banda dito the chronic leukemia okay banda naman dito is your acute uh, leukemia okay then so yan sabi mo kanina it can be uh, chronic uh, lymphocytic leukemia or uh, chronic myelogenous leukemia or uh, acute uh, lymphocytic leukemia or acute myelogenous leukemia okay so naintindihan niyo na yan ha Okay, so as an incident, um, in adult, uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia is mostly seen. Also, acute myelogenous leukemia, and uh, they are the most uh, common leukemias for adult. In children naman, ang nakikita ng uh, type of leukemia will be your uh, ALL or your acute lymphoblastic leukemia. This is the most common leukemia in children. Another is your acute myelogenous leukemia. Uh, and um, ang complication of your uh, AML include bleeding and infection and, uh, and, and uh, bleeding and bleeding infection is the major cause of death in your AML. Uh, in children also, they may also have a chronic myelogenous leukemia and uh, uh, juvenile uh, myelocytic uh, leukemia. So for the etiology and risk factor of leukemia, okay, so in general, Bale, men are more likely to develop um, CML or your chronic myelogenous leukemia. And uh, your chronic lymphogenous leukemia and your uh, uh, acute myelogenous leukemia than women. Sa so AIDS naman, uh, with the exception of your ELL, okay, are uh, uh, nag-increase ang risk okay, uh, with the uh, increase with AIDS. Okay, increase ng AIDS. Okay, in genetic naman, uh, if uh, there is a history of, uh, of leukemia, uh, especially sa first degree relatives of CLL patients uh, or having an identical twin who has had AML or ALL, ay increase ang kanyang risk, ang, ang kanyang risk of having um, leukemia. And uh, ang mga, ma, ang mga uh, bata okay, who have a Down syndrome, uh, may play a role in the development of leukemia kasi yung kanyang the Down syndrome is a, a problem of your chromosomes uh, 21 okay so in the Down syndrome there's a called trisomy 21 meron tatlong uh, uh, trisomy 20, uh, there's a, a uh, tatlong na, na chromosome 21 and this increase in chromosomes will uh, cause uh, mutation of your uh, 
stem cells. So lifestyle uh, smoking uh, will increase the risk of um, developing a um, uh, acute uh, myelogenous leukemia. Okay. Another risk factor is um, the exposure of uh, radiation. Example of my radiation will be uh, atomic lung explosion, chemical exposure, uh, long-term exposure to a certain uh, pesticides or industrial chemicals like benzene. Okay, this will also will uh, make mutation of your um, stem cells. Uh, mga previous treatment uh, uh, like uh, chemotherapy and radiation therapy for other cancer are uh, mag-increase din ng uh, risk for uh, having a leukemia. Okay, for the same symptoms of leukemia, uh, the patients will uh, experience fever, chills, and other flu-like symptoms. Uh, there will be weakness and fatigue because yung, uh, the and leukemia kasi affected pa rin ang uh, ang, uh, ang RBC sometimes uh, nagkaroon din ng uh, ng proliferation of young cells of RBC so nagkaroon ng uh, ng uh, RBC okay so ito nagko-contribute sa weakness and fatigue okay there will be frequent infection because of uh, uh, affectation of your uh, white blood cells that are uh, uh, responsible for fighting infection Loss of appetite uh, or weight. Dwell, uh, there will be swelling or tender of the lymph nodes, uh, liver or spleen, and even the thymus. Kasi uh, these uh, immature cells will uh, go to the uh, lymph nodes, liver, and spleen for uh, further uh, maturation supposedly. Okay, But since they didn't they mature and they proliferate um, very fast, there will uh, be swollen of uh, of this uh, organ, the lymph nodes, the liver, or the spleen, and also the thymus. Okay, so take note, pala, the thymus doon yung uh, pinupuntahan ng ng T cells. Okay, T for thymus, T uh, for T cells. Okay, doon sila nagmamature supposedly. Okay, so there also increase in the size of the thymus. Okay, there will be also tiny red spot called PTK under the skin uh, because of thrombotized to be niya. Okay, bababa ang, ang, ang platelet. Swollen or uh, bleeding gums also uh, because of thrombocyte to be niya. Uh, sweating especially at night and or uh, bone or joint pain um, is bleeding or bruising. Okay, so this is your uh, uh, common symptoms of your leukemia at a, uh, a picture uh, symptoms of leukemia. Okay, so sa systemic, there will be weight loss, fever, uh, frequent infection, salang, uh, easy, uh, shortness, uh, easy shortness of breath, uh, muscle weakness, sa bone naman, pain and tender, uh, psychologic fatigue and loss of appetite. Uh, sa lip nodes, there will be swelling or enlargement. Sa spleen, ganun din, uh, enlarge ang spleen and liver. Sa skin, night sweat, is bleeding, bruising, purple patches or spots. Okay. So, yun. So, anong mga diagnostic uh, tests that um, are performed to uh, diagnose a leukemia? Um, first is your CBC with manual differentiation. So, dito sa CBC, kinakount nila yung mga blood cells, right? And um, while doing the counting, they will also try to manually differentiate the cells, okay? They will try to differentiate if it is a a, um, a young cells or immature cells already a uh, a mature uh, uh, blood cells okay to uh, to detect if there is a leukemia another is uh, 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 there will be a low or high white blood cells uh varying levels of neutropenia okay uh, thrombocytopenia presence in 85 cases of uh, patients with leukemia sa yung peripheral smear is uh, presence of, uh, of malignant cells. Okay, mababa din ang kanyang hemoglobin, uh, less than 9%. Okay, so there will be also elevated uh, ESR or uh, um, erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Okay, uh, sa kidney function test naman, ay uh, mataas ang uh, uric acid level. Uh, 
Tapos, sa lipid profile, uh, elevated din. Uh, your uh, the, the, pol the polymerase chain uh, reaction, there's the presence of biomarkers in the blood and bone marrow cells. Okay, ito yung uh, tumor marker niya. Um, sa DNA, uh, one naman, uh, checking or cyto test, uh, there is abnormality marker. Uh, example of this is your uh, EML and CML. Meron siyang abnormal, uh, ab abnormal chromosomes called the Philadelphia chromosomes. Okay, it, we will discuss them later about the Philadelphia chromosomes. Sa liver function, uh, there will be elevation of uh, elevation to inflammation of liver. Okay, di ba kasi nga mag-aggregate doon ang mga immature cells. So, therefore, um, karon inflammation. Uh, tataas ngayon ang mga uh, liver test. Um, mayroon din na um, uh, elevation of your C-reactive protein. Uh, and itong C-reactive protein is a um, uh, protein produced by the liver. Okay, if there is a um, a infection or trauma, okay, this a uh, inflammatory chemical. Itong uh, C-reactive protein. Another uh, uh, diagnos diagnostic procedure that is uh, performed will be the biopsy. Uh, there are two types of biopsy that, that is performed, the bone marrow aspiration and the bone marrow biopsy. So bone marrow aspiration, um, the doctor will use a um, thick uh, hollow needle, malaking needle, tapos they will remove a sample of the bone marrow for biopsy. For titignan nila kung uh, uh, anong mga state of uh, maturity yung mga cells na nandun sa bone marrow. And then, sa bone marrow biopsy naman, ay uh, ganun din, the doctor will use a uh, thick and hollow needle and they will remove a piece of the bone and a bone marrow, okay? Also, to test for the cells in the bone marrow. Ay, a cytogenetics may be uh, performed. Ito ay uh, kukuha sila ng, uh, ng chromosomes. Uh, from uh, the blood, bone marrow, sa lip nodes, and then they will uh, check for abnorm abnormality in the chromosomes, okay, para malaman nila kung anong type of uh, leukemia na, na meron yung pasyente, okay. Like for example, sa CML, pag nakita nila that there is a presence of Philadelphia chromosomes, these are abnormal chromosomes, therefore, they can um, diagnose that the patient is having a CML or chronic myelogenous leukemia. Okay. And paano ba kasi nangyayari yung Philadelphia chromosomes? Okay, ito yon. The chromosomes 9 and chromosomes 2 ay uh, magkakaroon ng, yung chromosomes 9 ay magkakaroon ng, ng splitting. Ganon din yung uh, chromosomes 22 magkakaroon ng splitting and then magpapalit sila ito. Mag-split dito. Okay, mag-split and then mag magkakapalitan sila ng uh, ng tip or uh, ng tip okay so yung uh, uh, chromosomes 22 ay pumunta sa chromosomes 9 and yung chromosomes 9 yung tip niya ay pumunta naman sa sa chromosomes 22 okay ito yung sa chromosomes 22 yung um uh, tinatawag na Philadelphia chromosomes okay so yan yung uh, uh, defective or normal uh, chromosomes for CML. Okay, sa X-ray naman, uh, through X-ray ay makikita nila na that there is a swollen lip nodes, okay, and uh, other signs of disease in your chest. Uh, ito, kung lumaki yung um, the hilar um, uh, lip nodes, called the hilar lymphadenopathy, okay, dito nag- uh, nag-accumulate and aggregate yung mga uh, immature cells, okay? So, uh, nagkaroon ng swollen of your um, uh, lymph nodes. Okay, for the management, for the medical management, is uh, for acute leukemia, uh, sa chemotherapy, a different way of giving chemotherapy called intratical chemotherapy treats, okay? Ito ay inalagay nila o in-inject nila directly into the spinal canal para uh, this, uh, this drug will attack the leukemia cells. 
Okay, doon sa inyong bandang spinal. And then they may also perform radiation therapy. It uses high dose of radiation such as X-ray to destroy the cancer cells. Okay, radiation is also used to uh, treat acute leukemia that is spread to the brain or through the spinal cord. Uh, another uh, management is uh, uh, transplant of uh, stem cells. Okay, so uh, donated cells from a uh, match donor can rebuild their supply of normal blood cells. So maglalagay sila ng, ng normal uh, uh, stem cells. Okay, doon sa pasyenteng uh, mayroong leukemia. Okay, sa chronic leukemia naman, sa chemotherapy, chemotherapy is the use of medicine to attack cancer. Uh, okay, mayroon nga maraming mga, mga drug that is used for, uh, for uh, chronic, uh, chronic leukemia uh, that may help in the prolonging of life of the patients with leukemia. Uh, they may also perform a surgery sa, sa spleen ay uh, if ito ay destroyed by uh, red blood cells and platelet the spleen can be removed through surgery called spleno splenectomy okay the surgery for removal of the spleen because of uh, red blood cells and platelet destroying the spleen another uh, management is what the called the targeted therapy with the uh, monoclonal antibody okay ito ay this antibody can kill the cancer cells they will stop their growth or keep them from spreading okay, by the use of a monoclonal antibody. Sa stem cell transplant, ang goal nito is um, first is to uh, totally eliminate the, uh, the leukem leukemic cells from the body using the combination of chemotherapy muna uh, with or without a uh, total body radiation. Then, uh, they will eradicate the, the hemopoietic, uh, hemopoietic stem cells of the patients. At iti, ito ay uh, we will be replaced with a um, uh, human leukocytes antigen match. Okay? Yung from a donor. Uh, there are uh, two types of uh, st uh, stem cell transportation, uh, transplantation. The allogenic and the autologous. Okay? Ang allogenic stem cell transplant, ang stem cells are uh, taken from a matching donor, okay? Sa ibang tao galing yung stem cells, while uh, autologous stem cells is uh, uh, the type, uh, the, the stem cells are collected from the patients and then it will be, it, it is frozen, then it will be transferred to him after transfer back to him after. Uh, for our um, uh, nursing uh, responsibilities for patients with leukemia, uh, we should um, uh, try to assess by obtaining a health history, uh, focusing on uh, fatigue, uh, weight loss, you check it if there's a weight loss, uh, night sweat, and activity intolerance. Okay? Um, assess also if there's a presence of bleeding or infection, I said they are very prone for the bleeding and fashion, right? Because of um, uh, uh, thrombocytopenia and neutropenia. Uh, evaluate uh, if there is also enlargement of the spleen, uh, the lymph nodes, and the liver. Uh, check if there is a difficulty in swallowing, uh, presence of coughing, and uh, rectal, of rectal pain. Examine also the patients if and nagkakaroon na ng enlargement of the lymph nodes. Uh, if there is hepatosplenomegaly, there is evidence of bleeding, abnormal breathing sounds, and skin lesion because this may be a uh, complication of a leukemia already. Inspect the patients for the signs of infection and the incidence and frequency of infection because, sabi ko kanina, they are very prone to infection. Okay, uh, anong mga pwedeng nursing diagnosis uh, uh, sa patient na mayroong leukemia? Okay. First is um, uh, impaired uh, tissue integrity, uh, integrity related to high dose radiation therapy. So, uh, Nag-undergan siya ng uh, radiation therapy. Next is uh, uh, risk for uh, infection. 
uh, to decrease uh, neutrophils, alter the response to my, uh, microbial invasion, presence of environmental pathogens. Okay? So, yan. Very, um, sabi ko nga, uh, at least sila for infection. And paid uh, oral mucous membrane related to low platelet counts and uh, or effect of uh, pathological condition and treatment as evidenced by oral bleeding and blood filled bula uh, bula okay uh yon because also for uh, thrombocytopenia naman ito okay mababang kanyang platelet now there is a risk for injury related to low platelet counts and treatment okay so uh pwede sila magka bruise okay or bleeding acute pain related to tumor growth uh, infection or adverse um, effect of chemotherapy so ang 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 mga tumor growth ay pwedeng mag impinge okay sa mga neighboring organ right so it will cause pain uh, activity and tolerance related to anemia and adverse effect of chemotherapy okay so bababa ang kanyang uh, uh, RBC if uh, naapektuhan ang production of of the RBC or maturation of their RBC Okay, so how are we going to treat them? How are we going to uh, correct them? Okay, so uh, for um, problem in patient integrity is uh, should uh, avoid uh, rubbing powders, okay, deodorants, lotion or ointment, okay, sa part uh, sa kanyang katawan unless it is prescribed or application or heat and cold uh, to treated areas, okay, so mga ba bawal. And then, uh, encourage the patient to keep the treated area clean and dry. Okay? Kasi, nag-under again ng, um, ng radiation. Uh, advise the patient to bat the area gently with the only tepid water and mild soap. Okay? To uh, uh, prevent uh, uh, further irritation of the treated area. Uh, encourage the patients to wear uh, loose-fitting uh, clothes. Okay, also, again, to, uh, since the part that is treated with the radiation is uh, sensitive, therefore, dapat bawal mo ng mga tight clothing. Okay, para to prevent the further irritation. Then, advise the patients to uh, protect the skin uh, from uh, over and direct exposure to sunlight and chlorine and temperature and, and temperature extreme. Okay, so bawal pa ang mga, ang mga uh, direct exposure. Kasi uh, ito ay sensitive with it under ganyan photos of uh, phototherapy or uh, radiation. So, traumatized siya. Uh, very sensitive to uh, uh, mga uh, chemical okay, at extreme temperature. Sa infection naman, to prevent infection, you should inspect the patients for the signs and symptoms of infection. Okay, right, for example, there is a redness, okay, there's a presence of uh, of inflammation, or even there's a presence of uh, fever. Then maintain asepsis for patient at rest. Okay, kasi nga you might uh, 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 infect your patients if you are uh, if you don't uh, observe a septic technique. Uh, since the patient is uh, uh, prone to infection, okay, uh, instruct the instruct the patients to take antibiotics as prescribed by doctors to prevent microbial resistance. Okay, so kung paano it take yung uh, yung antibiotic, uh, you instruct them. Uh, kasi pag hindi tama yung pagtake niya, magkaroon ng microbial resistance, meaning the drug is uh, is not already uh, uh, effective. Okay for your patients. Then, teach the patients and family how to avoid infections. An example is um, yung paano sila mag-perform ng kanilang uh, personal hygiene okay, by performing uh, hand washing, oral care, and skin hygiene. And then, also, educate the patient to report if there's any presence of signs of infections to the doctor immediately. Since um, the patient is um, immunocompromised, uh, maka, uh, yung kanyang infection will uh, uh, magiging severe uh, kaagad-agad okay, kung ito ay hindi matignan ng doctor 
and then uh, monitor uh, granulocytes count and WC count to identify the presence of infection. Okay, ito yung titignan nin mo sa laboratory uh, uh, to check if there is a uh, presence of infection. And then dapat ang mga pasyente na nadala should be screened kung meron silang mga communicable diseases na pwedeng makhawa sa inyong pasyente since they are um, uh, sensitive to infection or prone to infection. Uh, okay. Sa mucosa naman, to, uh, to, to prevent uh, bleeding of the mucosa is uh, first, you monitor the lips, tongue, mucous membrane, the tonsillar foci, the gums, for moisture. Dapat basa lagi. The color, kung ito ay, ay, ay pale, uh, the texture, kung uh, uh, smooth pa siya, okay, the presence of the, of the breast or infection, okay, check mo lagi. Then assist the patient to uh, select yung uh, malalambot, uh, bland, at uh, non-acidic food, okay, para ito ay, uh, uh, it will not uh, irritate further your oral mucosa. Kasi pag na-irritate ka, nagkaroon ng, uh, ng mucosal opening, okay, uh, that will be the entrance for uh, microorganism and for infection. Then, um, advise the patient to use also soft toothbrush, malambot na toothbrush, uh, para hindi na masugat ang kanyang, uh, kanyang gums, ang oral mucosa. Okay, sabi ko nga, para hindi makapasok ang microorganism. Then, instruct the patient to perform oral hygiene after eating and as often as needed to avoid breakdown of their oral mucosa. Okay, ito yung uh, your goal mo is to prevent the uh, breakdown of your oral mucosa. Then advise the patients to avoid the use of uh, lemon glycerin swab uh, to prevent excessive drying of the mucosa. Okay, so kung gumagamit sila ng, ng glycerin swab is uh, avoid yung may content of lemon because lemon will uh, further um, uh, irritate uh, the mucosal lining. Sa ako naman, to uh, prevent injury or to, or to reduce the risk for um, injury uh, is you um, as a nurse to monitor your patients for the signs and symptoms of persistent bleeding uh, to detect internal bleeding. Okay, dapat alam mo kung ano yung mga signs uh, of bleeding. Okay, uh, next is uh, you monitor for the uh, prothrombin and the partial uh, thromboplastin time. Okay, ito kasi pag bumaba ito, ay uh, a sign na magkar na, na uh, at least of bleeding yung pasyente mo. Okay, next is the fibrinogen, the fibrin degradation product, and the platelet count to determine bleeding risk. Then, uh, protect the patients from trauma that may cause bleeding to reduce tissue trauma and subsequent bleeding in the tissue. So, yun. Uh, dapat uh, walang trauma na mangyayari sa kanya uh, because uh, Pag nagkaroon ng trauma, there will be bleeding. And uh, uh, remember that there is a uh, 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 mababa ang kanyang uh, platelet, okay? ang kanyang uh, uh, capability to blood clot. Then administer uh, blood product pag bumagsak na masyado ang uh, mga ang kanyang uh, uh, blood count. Okay? For example, your platelet is uh, you use uh, plus frozen plasma uh, okay uh, also to replace coagulation factor pag ito ay uh, bumaba na yung platelet mo at it's patient to avoid aspirin or anticoagulant to prevent additional bleeding risk okay kasi this um, aspirin is a anticoagulant drug also okay yung mga other anticoagulant like for example uh, warfarin, okay, comatin, uh, uh, clopedogrel, okay, this mga anticoagulant drug. Kasi nga, uh, kung na wala lang ang platelet, tapos magbaring pa ng anticoagulant. So, mag increase yung uh, bleed, bleeding risk of your patients. Then, uh, you educate the patients about the harm of injury to patients as well as the family member. So, yun, sabihin mo sa nila yung 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 uh, possible na mangyari sa pasyente mo, uh, mga possible uh, injury na pwedeng uh, mangyari sa pasyente mo at uh, 
ang mga uh, possible na complication ng mga injury na yan. Para malaman ng mga relative at yung pasyente to prevent them. Okay, sa so, to lose pain naman, you should assess the frequency of pain and administer analgesic on a regular schedule as special monitored for adverse effects. Okay, so habang nagbibigay ng, ng uh, medication for pain, you should also monitor for the adverse effect of this medication. Okay, especially kung ito ay mga mga opioid uh, drugs, mga narcotic drugs, okay, narcotic analgesic drug. Okay, uh, you provide the comfortable position to the patients to promote comfort to the patients. Um, advise the patient for the use of non-pharmacologic methods like music therapy, relaxation, distraction, and imagery to help manage the pain. I also try to provide calm environment to patients to promote uh, physical comfort of the patients. You provide the uh, diversional therapy for patients para ma-divert ang mind niya to the uh, presence of pain. Then uh, provide uh, psychological support to your patients okay, para uh, meron siyang uh, magandang kanya magiging coping mechanism. Then advise the patients to restrict the activity which generate pain. Okay, so kung meron mga activity na na nagkakos ng pain, is uh, i-minimize yung mga activity na yan. Then, thank you. Uh, that's it on uh, leukemia. Uh, study hard. And good luck to your uh, coming final exam. Bye.